Okay guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a crib for your dollhouse. Um, first thing you want to do is go to my website and get the template. And then after you have all your pieces cut out, you want to mark your line from the bottom up where you want to put this. Now if you want to do the optional legs, you can do that, but I don't want to put them up and make them any higher than what I have it already. If you want to do the legs, then you will cut those and then you will glue them to these. And then another option that you can use if you want to have decorative feet on the bottom is you can get some of these little plugs for wood and you can glue them on the bottom as well. Just draw a hole in there and then just kind of recess it up in there. But just for the basic crib, you're going to cut these two out. Mark your line where you want it to go. Make sure you're using a square so you have it straight across. For this part here, I just use the bandsaw. If you don't have a bandsaw, then um, you can use a coping saw or you can just leave it square. You don't need to even bother with that. And if you leave it square, then that's when you would probably want to use the legs. All right, now on the template it has um, this little extra piece of wood. What that is, is when you're making your rails and there's a tutorial on how to drill the holes for the rails, is you're gonna put that in between like this so that it can dry. You wanna push all of them even like that. Make sure when you have it in there that you're also using your square because you don't want it to be wonky and have it like crooked or whatever. So put this in the middle, use your square, glue it, make sure that they're straight, push them all down. When it is completely dry, you want to cut these off and then sand it flat. Alright, so you want to go ahead and put your glue in there and make sure you have all of these flat. And wind up with the bottom. You can either dip them into the glue or you can squish a little bit of glue inside. If you squish it inside, it's going to pop out the bottom, which is okay. You just have to wipe it off. Try not to get one that's wonky looking like that. They are not going to be perfect by any means because they are just little wooden craft sticks. Um, if you want them to be more perfect, you're going to need to do something like the twisted wire rail that we did. This is the twisted wire rail. All right, so you want to go ahead and continue that. Okay, so now you want to work them in to each of the holes on the opposite end of the railing. Make sure you're getting the one that matches lined up in case they were slightly uneven when you drilled them. This does take some time and some patience, so don't give up right away. All right, so now I'm just gonna kinda lightly tap it down the rest of the way. Okay, so now I've got it started, so I'm holding my board up here, and then I'm holding another board on top. You can actually tape this like I'm about to do. Okay, so now I got it taped on there and make it a little bit easier rather than trying to hold it in all those different places. You just want to keep tapping it down until you get it even with that board. Try not to over tap it like I just did because now you're going to have to untap it. If you can get through doing this part, I, the rest of the project's pretty easy. This is the hardest part. 
Okay, so now you're going to have to cut off these and then sand it. And then sand that. Now don't forget to square it up before it dries. When you're sanding it and you're cutting that off, you want to put that piece back in there. All right, so once you've cut them off and you've sanded it, the other option you can do is you can round the end rather than having it square. The top of a crib rail is usually a little rounded, so I went ahead and rounded it. And I just used an electric sander, but you can do it by hand. You just kind of keep going like that and it'll do it. Okay, another way you can do it is you can put it together like this and then you can save yourself the banging. But you're going to have to be able to spread it apart to put the glue in the top piece. Okay, so to make sure everything is even and precise, what you want to do is tape them together and then sand them together to make sure all edges are going to meet up. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is put a little bit of glue on each end. And once you have your line there marked, that's where it's going to go. Then you want to do one side here and one side here. Put some glue along the bottom base part of the crib. And then you're going to glue that to this. Now if you want your rail to move, then you're going to have to do the wire around it. And um, leave one peg out of each end so like the wire would go through this part and then you would bend this over and then that over that way and then it would slide up and down on that I was going to do that but I changed my mind you got to be precise when you do that okay so once you have that done then you want to put some glue on this side here and some glue on each of the ends pieces and then you want to attach it make sure you have it on your line or it's going to be wonky when it dries At this point, you want to tape it together with some masking tape, and then you want to make sure you pull your rails to the edge so that they're even. After that, then you put another piece of tape to keep them supported. And this crib can be modified many different ways depending on what you're doing. I mean, you can change the top design, you can make longer crib rails, whichever you want. Right now we're going to put some glue on here and across and attach this rail. Remember, if you round it to one side to keep that side upward. And you can also use pens and... Um, like wooden pens and drill in here and put it in that way if you like. Right, make sure it's even with the bottom. Get your mask and tape out and tape it again. 
to keep it secure. Make sure you keep it snug when you're doing it. Move my rail up to where it's even here. Wrapped all that tape together. And then tape it until it sets. Basically, that's what it'll look like when it's in there. That's what rail does. That's what rail makes for us even. Alright, so this was the crib tutorial. Now, I made mine to a modern size crib um, that's made in the US. So you may want to adjust this piece and these to the length that you want your crib to be. Um, some dollhouse cribs at one inch scale that they sell in the store are probably about three pegs shorter than this, but that's not the actual measurements for a US crib for the modern ones. So I wanted mine to be more precise, and that's when I made this. Now, I'm going to paint this white, and I may Mod Podge like some kind of character or something on here. I'm not really sure. I might just leave it white. I haven't really completely decided yet. But um, it'll definitely have some bedding and everything in it. And again, if you want to make one of the rails move up and down, you can do that by making one of the little pieces of copper wire going through the last one on each side. Instead of putting that peg in there, you would just put the copper wire in there and then you would bend it and then draw a hole through here and a hole through here and one on each end here for the wire to go through on a bend. I didn't do that, I just thought it was easier doing it this way, but you're more than welcome to do it. And if you do, don't forget to share it with us on our Facebook page or on our website, All right? Thanks a lot. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Okay guys, well that was it for this video. We are still working on some minor things with the dollhouse. We have a little bit more to go. However, if you subscribe below, we will post the images or the videos as we do it so that you can see how the progress goes. Also, if you subscribe, We'll have the tutorials that we'll post as well, and you'll be able to see them. And we plan on making some furniture and a few other DIYs, so you don't want to miss that. And also, if you go on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials, you will be able to find lots and lots of pictures of everything that we've done, along with a few other things. And then, you know, you can comment there, or you can comment below. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave them, and we will get to them as soon as we can. But other than that, we're going to continue working on this miniature madness because we're having a ball. And thanks for watching, and have a great day.